Doing research using library resources can be quite different from searching for information through an online search engine like Google. This can be frustrating for many students, but fortunately, there are a few strategies you can use to improve your library searches and find high quality resources for your assignments. When we search in an online search engine like Google, we typically use colloquial or natural language. Many of us even ask Google a question, like it's a person. However, because of the algorithms used by library databases to organize information, that kind of language is often unsuccessful when used in a library search. Let's do an example to show what I mean. In Google, if we search the question, how does technology affect sleep, we get hundreds of millions of results. If we try the exact same search in the library's OneSearch feature, our list of results is much smaller. But why did this happen? I'm sure the library has quality research resources on this topic. I just have to figure out how to ask the library for those resources in a way that it understands. Unlike Google, the library relies on what we call controlled vocabulary, which is just a fancy way to say that it uses expert language. This may be daunting, especially if you're doing research on a topic you don't know much about, but the library can help you find this expert language. First, instead of entering my research topic into OneSearch as a full question, I'm going to try to use keywords or concepts that represent my main ideas. When I look at my original question, I ask myself, what are two or three keywords or main concepts in this topic? I'm going to choose technology and sleep. Now let's move to the library's website to continue this search. I've entered technology into the library's main search bar and made sure one search is selected. When I hit search, this leads me into my results list. If you're off campus at this point, you may be asked to log in for full access. I now have three search bars. So in my second search bar, I'm going to enter my second search term, sleep, and I'll hit search. Remember that when we tried searching for the entire question, how does technology affect sleep? We only got 39 results. But by breaking the question into keywords, we now have tens of thousands of results. Of course, this is way more resources than we would ever need, so we want to try to refine our search. We can do this a few ways. We can start by checking out the subjects listed below each article. Subjects use controlled vocabulary. In other words, these are the words that we should be using in our search. As I scroll through my results, I see possible subjects I could use in my search. I'm going to try sleep hygiene with technology and see how that affects my search. I see that I now have just over 600 results, which is a much more manageable number. I can continue to modify my search terms, or I can use a few other tools in the database to refine my results and find the best matches for my research topic. On the left side of the screen, there is a limit to menu. Using this menu, I can limit to only articles that the library holds in its collection by clicking on full text. I can also limit my results to only peer reviewed, refereed or scholarly resources. Check this box if your assignment requires academic articles. Additionally, I can add a date range to my results list. This is especially important if you're researching a more recent topic like social media. Typically applying a 10 or even a five year range is a good idea. After applying limiters, you can continue to modify your search terms or you can begin searching through your results to see if there are any articles or resources that you can use for your research. The Douglas College Library has millions of resources for you to use for your Douglas College courses, many of which you can access online from your home. Please check out our videos and tutorials for more detailed instructions or contact a librarian for help.